lift my toes up a little off the floor and I slide my knee backwards so I can get the top of my kneecap on my stomach and I can generate a lot more pressure there. So as I put pressure, the guy, a lot of times they're gonna push that knee to try to slide that knee off, right? So when they do this, they turn, they put a lot of pressure. The hand that's closest to the legs is the hand that I'm gonna go in with palm up. I'm gonna create, like you don't need to go super deep like this, okay, because your elbow actually goes all the way through as well. I'm just gonna make sure that I can catch like lace, just my fingers around his tricep. Then my elbow will be on the front of his ribs on the other side. So I've got this nice little wedge here where I can pull, but I can also push it down with my elbow and I can also use my, my shoulder. So I'm almost pulling his, um, his elbow into my shoulder and creating a nice little trap there. I'm leaning forward here, okay? So from here, everyone shows that step over and then sit and do like an arm bar here. It's very common, but it's, also, it's so common that a lot of guys are almost give it up so they can hitchhike and just skate right out of it. So if you're like, if you're working with somebody that's very fast with submission defenses, they may be pushing just to beat you so they can get ready to a hitchhiker's escape. So instead of the hitchhiker's escape, we're gonna use that, um, that reverse Kimura grip that Dean Lister was showing. So from here, I pull, I get that trap, I get that nice wedge, fingers are just laced, elbows in front of his ribs, shoulders blocking here. And I'm gonna just surprise him and just spin this all the way around and then catch his wrist. Okay, so I wanna make sure that I go on the outside and catch. You don't need to weave or anything. So catch, and then my right hand, my left hand will just cut my own tricep here. So I'm just hugging everything here. I'm gonna step my right leg over his head, and then from here I just need to sit straight back. Okay? I wanna make sure that his arm stays 90 degrees and less for the Kimura. I, you don't want it to go straight. So when I lay back, I'm gonna use my knee, and I kind of punch my knee through, and I wanna keep him like, kind of here. Um, let's go back here. So I'm pushing my knee, I cut, I cut, I step over, I'm just gonna sit here. And then from this position, I'm gonna pinch this elbow down as I lift my left elbow up. So I'm just going with this kind of tilt here. And if he was grabbing his pant, or like even if he's here and he's grabbing something, if my knees kind of peek through, I can use my knee as leverage to like yank this arm out here, okay? Like usually they're not gonna um, be able to fight that leverage control. What you have to be careful is, is as you pull, you don't want this arm to go straight because you can lose everything. Um, in that position. So I'm only pulling to a certain point to get his hand out and I can like put the back of his hand back on his back and then get that tilt to finish. So just one more time. Knee on belly position. He goes palm up from the pressure. The hand closes towards his leg. I lace in, create the wedge, shoulder block, cup, cup, step, knee through, and then you can finish here. If the guy gets all the way towards his knees here, you could also tomahawk this and flip him over here, right? And then flip them over if you want, you can just sit one more time through and then finish the um, kind of reverse Kimura in that position as well. Ready? One, two, three.